internet marketing tools of the trade. What are the must-haves? Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I want to tell you and share with you some of the internet marketing tools of the trades that you must have. Now, why are they must-haves? Why do you need to have these tools? Well, we all know that for anyone growing a business, doesn't matter what you're doing, you've got to have your tool belt. You've got to have your tool belt, you've got to have your tools that help you get results, right? Personal trainers, you've got your tool belt. It might be burpees, it might be box jumps, it might be bench press, it might be deadlifts. Builders, you've got a literal tool belt, right? You've got your hammer, you've got your drill, you've got your uh, your measure, your, your um, eyesight, line sight, all these different tools that you would use to help you build. Now, these are only applicable to you, only applicable if you want to build a business online. So I'm gonna to talk to you about really probably four key, four key ones that I would highly recommend every single person has. Now, number one is one of my favorites of all time, which is the beautiful landing page builder, right? Now, when I say a landing page builder, I'm going to talk about my favorite, which is ClickFunnels, right? I've done many videos on ClickFunnels here before, talked about them in all the different key areas on how they can really help you grow your business. Now. Why would you need a landing page builder, right? A lot of people these days, if you like to think of, they have their websites and they like to think of it as like, oh, this is my home base of the internet. I wanna be around here. Now, the big thing to remember is that when people go to a website, normally it's direct traffic, right? It's like, cool, I'm gonna type in www.yoursocialvoice.com.au. Bang, I'm gonna go there. I'm going there for a reason. I've heard about it, been told about it, something like that. Now, if we're running traffic from somewhere on the internet, right, somewhere we're driving people to, this might be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it might be, we're sending people here. If we're doing paid traffic or even sometimes organic, we don't want people to get confused. Now, what do I mean by that confused? If you've ever gone into a shop, right, you go in and you're like, I just need milk and bread, milk and bread, milk and bread go into the shop and you're like, ooh, bright colors. You go around like, oh, avocados are on special, I'm gonna get some of them. Ooh, there's a new range of kombucha. Some ladies there like, do you wanna try some cheese? Try a little bit of cheese and you're like, oh, kind of feel guilty now, I ate the free cheese, so I better go and buy some cheese. Yeah, sure, I'll grab a wheel of cheese. Grab that as well. Chucking all these things in your basket. You go out, you pack up, you jump in your car, you're about to drive home, you're like, I forgot the milk and bread, right? I completely forgot it because you were distracted by all these other things on there. Your website is exactly the same thing. When people go there, if they're not interested, if they're going there for a particular purpose, like a free download, a lead magnet, something that they want something simple for, and they're going there to see all these different things, oh, about us, what do we do? Here's our team, here's some case studies. Oh, a little pop-up came up. Oh, I should register for that. Ding, you gotta get that. All these stuff, things start popping up and bringing attention to them, right? What happens is they forgot the purpose they went there for, which was to download your thing right, to opt in for your thing, your free download, whatever it might be. So a landing page builder, all that does is it allows you to really succinctly narrow the focus to one product, service, or offering that you have so that people can take you up on that. And that is why I love ClickFunnels, is because it allows you to do that easily, effortlessly, it's simple to connect, you can literally drag, bing, drop things in real nice and easy. Now, that is why I love it, right? And it's simple, it's easy. They already have templates there that are beautiful for you to use. So if you've been going like, how do some of these people build so many things and how do they make it look pretty and all this sort of stuff? A landing page builder is one of the core tools you need as part of your internet marketing toolkit. Now, is, is ClickFunnels the only one? No, but it's the most recommended one from me, okay? I, I don't use anything else apart from that. So that's why I recommend it is because I use it. Now, number two, tool number two is a autoresponder. All right, now what do I mean by an autoresponder? An autoresponder, so if someone downloads, we talked about your landing page builder just before, if someone downloads that, we need to be able to automatically send them some information to be able to communicate with them about what it is that we're doing. We need to send them that information straight away. And we want to build in some automation where if they get an email, they can get an email for a few more days following up from that. So that is a autoresponder. Now, a lot of times now it's actually been probably, I'd say, combined with a CRM, right? There's a lot of different terminologies used around it. So 
I would say if you're looking for something, if you want a simple version, right, look for something that's a simple version. So I recommend two. And again, we'll put all the links for everything in the, in the comments down below. So number one is Aweber. Aweber is super simple. There's another version of a different type, but I find Aweber for me just makes sense. People come in, they're on a the list, you can send them an email from the list. Straightforward. No fuss, no muss. Right, really nice and easy. People come in, you can send them emails. Number two, if you want to do a little bit more, I'll say not sophisticated, but if you do want the full opportunity for CRMs, which is customer relationship management, client relationship management, whatever you want to call it, where you can manage deal flow, you can look at when people come in, what emails they open, can you, you can segment them, tag them, tag them, separate things out as well. My next recommendation would be active campaign. Now, these, this is the only time I will probably recommend things that I'm not using. We personally use Infusionsoft, but unless you are probably, I'll say like a more robust, uh, you've been around longer, you need more process automation, I probably wouldn't recommend Infusionsoft. Hence why I'm telling you ones that I have used, not using right now, but because I know that it's going to be beneficial for you. So ActiveCampaign or Aweber, two really simple ones that you can get a great result from. So. They're the ones I would recommend. I wouldn't really recommend um, anything else for you guys, unless you are doing things more robust, there's bigger CRMs, more functions when it comes to marketing and process automation, which is outside the realm of what I just talked about, then we, we do utilize personally, internally, Infusionsoft. But apart from that, stick to those. That's really, really simple and easy. Now, what else do you need? You've got your landing page builder, you've got your autoresponder, like you've got your toolkit, right? You're starting to build it. Number three that I would highly, highly, highly recommend is analytics, right? It sounds silly, it's free, right? God, why is one of the good ones free, right? Which is given to you by Google. You need to understand where your data comes in and goes out from. So some form of analytics, whether you're getting a plugin which goes into your website and funnels, whether you're um, spending a lot of money focusing on the growth of your business and you're looking at a full suite, like there's a couple of ones that we've, we've been looking at. Analytics is so, so important. And luckily, Google gives you one for free, right? Google gives you Google Analytics. So before you go and start turning on any uh, powerful marketing automations or anything like that, get analytics sorted because what it's going to do is it's actually going to allow you to understand where your traffic comes from, what the traffic does. Is it good traffic? Does Do they bounce? Do they disappear straight away? What countries do they come from? Do they opt in? What age brackets are they in? Are they searching for you organically? Are they coming from paid traffic? Right? There's so much power in analytics and it's one that's easily overlooked. It's not sexy, right? Because it is hard work to set up, to watch, to manage, to read, to understand. And it's not as cool as like, oh, landing page builder, autoresponder, like all these fun, like funky SaaS products, right? So it can be a little bit difficult. But look, if you do it properly and, and you effectively implement it into your business, it is worth its weight in gold. And luckily it's free if you use Google Analytics, but I would highly recommend spending a bit of time learning how to use Google Analytics, learning how to apply it to your business, um, and learning how to implement it and embed it onto all the different key areas that you use. And look, you are gonna be onto a winner if you do that, right? Almost guaranteed, as close to guaranteed as I can give you. Now, number four. Number four now, we've had landing page builders, we've got autoresponders slash CRMs, we've got our analytics. Number four in your internet marketing toolkit is you need a Facebook marketing toolkit, guys, right? Shameless plug here for ours. We have that over on www.freeusb.com.au. But you need a toolkit to drive you traffic. So we highly recommend our Facebook marketing toolkit, hence we use it so much, right? We teach you how to build, uh, to drive traffic, how to set up your ads, how to drive your ads, and it's free. You just pay for shipping, like irresistible, come on, right? That is, uh, that, that's going to get you covered. So I highly recommend that you get that sorted, right? You get your marketing sorted because again, it doesn't matter if you have analytics, a landing page builder, and you have a CRM if you have no traffic, right? That's the, the funky thing about all these. Everyone gets excited about the SaaS products. Oh, I bought this one, I've got this one, I've got that one, I've got this one, I've got this one. They work so well. It's like, hey, how about you get people to check your stuff out, right? You need that, you need people. So I highly recommend, as I said, www.freeusb.com.au. Take us up on that, like it's, it's, it's effective, or, or just learn it for yourself. I ain't got no problems with, with that. Watch all our YouTube videos and you'll get enough of an understanding on how to run ads effectively. 
but please do it. Please, please, please go out there. Make sure that you do that because if you have that, that is like the that, that's like the perfect stack. That's like the most fluffy, delicious stack of pancakes you could ever get possible. So to reiterate, number one, get a landing page builder like ClickFunnels. Number two, get a CRM or autoresponder like Aweber or ActiveCampaign. Number three, get analytics so you understand what happens. And number four, learn how to drive traffic to it like our free marketing toolkit, which you can get at www.freeusb.com.au. We post them worldwide as well if you're checking out anything out overseas, friends, we got you covered. So guys, please make sure you go out there, implement some tools into your toolkit if you need them. We've got links for everything down below as well, but they will help you build your business online. Like I said, if you're a trainer or if you're a builder, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you have tools. When you take your business online, you need them as well. And they will make sure that your business grows, right? That's the only way to grow a business is to build things up. To build stuff, you need tools. That's just the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So guys, if you did like this video, please, Give me a little thumbs up. Make sure that you comment down below. Let us know what you thought. If you want us to cover any topics for you, of course, we are here to help. That's why we do this. That's the only way we do this is to help more people just like you. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on the little, little notification symbol so that you get these before anyone else, right? You guys are ahead of the curve. That's what we want for you. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.